Sony has just released the Venice 2, and from the specs, it seems like Sony's taking a cinema camera lineup very seriously. The Venice 2 comes with some serious upgrades compared to its predecessor, the Venice 6K Cine Alta. And in this video, we're going to discuss all the major upgrades that the new Venice 2 has brought for the filmmakers. So, with that being said, let's get started. The Sony Venice 2 features a newly developed 50 megapixel 816K full frame CMOS image sensor, which is a substantial improvement over its predecessor equipped with a 6K sensor. In addition, the sensor has a dual ISO setup at ISO 800 and ISO 3200, which allows for almost noise free and sharper looking videos even at higher ISOs. As for the form factor, the Venice 2 is more compact and sleeker than its predecessor, the Venice 6K Cine Alta. The newer version is around 10% lighter and 44mm smaller than the previous version. This is particularly handy when you're planning to attach the camera to a drone for aerial shooting. The Venice 2 includes a Limo 2-pin 12V output connector, which was also a new addition. It also incorporates the same 8 stops of ND filter, which is the same as before. And it comes with an interchangeable lens mount. It supports all the PL mount and native Sony E-mount lenses. Speaking of interchangeability, it's not confined to the lenses only. Instead, one of the most striking features of the Sony Venice 2 is the interchangeability of its sensor. You can either use the 816K or the 24.8 megapixel 6K version sensors. The modular design also reminds us of the RED cameras, which also featured a swappable sensor design. And the good thing is, when you swap the sensor, you won't have to install any firmware or anything to make the sensors work. So, it's a kind of a plug and play that will substantially increase its ease of use. And like the 8.6K sensor, the 6K sensor also comes with dual native ISO at ISO 500 and ISO 2500. The Venice 2 8K version is capable of shooting internal 8.6K X OCN RAW videos with an aspect ratio of 3 by 2 at 30 frames per second. And when shooting 8.2K with 17 by 9 aspect ratio, you can enjoy an increase in frame rates up to 60 FPS. Besides, the camera can also shoot Super 35 5.8K videos at 90 FPS. And if you opt for using the 6K sensor, you can capture 6K, 5.7K or 4K videos with different aspect ratios and increased frame rates. Another differentiating factor of the new Venice 2 is its ability to record XOCN format which is Sony's 16-bit extended tonal range original camera negative internally, eliminating the need for an external recorder keeping the overall camera weight low. Additionally, this camera is also capable of shooting 4K internal ProRes 4444 and 422HQ. And the oversampling from 8K to 4K enables you to record videos with incredible details and accurate color tone. As for the colors, the 8K version can retain 16 stops of dynamic range, while the 6K can offer slightly less 15 plus stops of dynamic range. However, you need to get an additional license to be able to shoot full frame and anamorphic videos. As the Venice 2 is not capable of shooting 8K videos, it was expected that the old memory option would not just keep up. So, the old dual SXS slots are gone and upgraded by the faster AXS memory card slots. AXS memory cards can transfer data with an incredible speed of 6.6 GB per second, which is enough for shooting 8K videos. However, those cards are costly. For 1TB of AXS memory A series card, you have to spend about $4,500. So, that was all about the significant upgrades that the new Venice 2 has featured. Though there is no confirmed news about the price of the Venice 2, we hope that the price won't cross $50,000. So, what are your thoughts about the new Sony Venice 2? Let us know in the comments section.